What's up, girlfriend? Something's going on. You got a look about to tell me what's wrong. Hello, everybody. I am Jack Lucen, and today we're going to be exploring one of my crown jewels of Minecraft. In, uh, the Empire of Azure. Well, let's start of an empire anyway. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Alright, so first of all, we're going to take a look at my sister's house over here. Absolutely stunning. I have to say, she worked very hard on this house, and I have to say, it is well paid off. She was going for a more rustic look, and I have to say, it worked. Equal, well, mostly equilibrium. But yes, very, very, very beautiful house. She's got her staples over here for whenever she decides to uh, spawn in a horse. Over here, this is after we get done building the city and all that. We'll, we'll explore that area over there later. But uh, this over here goes all the way down. Down, deep, 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 deep into the uh, core of the earth. I won't go down there because it takes too long to get back up. And I usually get lost on my way down. Okay, so over here, I could have sworn. No, I guess I didn't. But anyway, my sister decided to build her house way up here because she didn't want to be a part of the empire or the city. Little did she know that regardless, she's still a part of it <laughs> because the empire is expanding further and further out. As you can see over here, it's not just in one spot anymore. Now from over here, it doesn't look that impressive, but as you get closer, it expands a lot. And what I mean by that, I mean, it, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. So let's go and explore it a bit. You know what, I'm just going to have to get past my own gate. This right over here is the Alchemist's Hut. I built it on the outskirts because alchemy is kind of frowned upon. J just a little because of the uh, villager witches. They like to throw potions at us and whatnot. But yeah. Okay, so let's explore this first. This right here is a wide open area. I could build anything I wanted here. However, I can't really think of anything that I want yet, so I'm leaving it blank. Over here, I'm doing the same thing. I could build anything I wanted over here, but I'm not building anything just yet, because we got a lot of area over here to cover. This over here, I've already decided what I wanted basically an easy way to access the mines down below. Instead of cranks and pulleys, we're going to use uh, water. It takes me all the way down here, safely, of course. And I'm pretty sure if we go down any further, we'll find out where the other tunnel leads down to. No? No, 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 it doesn't go down far enough. But anyway, we're very close to uh, that right there. And I'm sure that there's a... Uh, cave down here. You know what? I'll just go ahead and let you take a look. Hopefully I don't get lost. Okay, so we go down here about halfway where there's a big, big change of scenery and light. And here we are. This is the cave that leads to the uh, area you saw below. Now if we go any further, this might take a few seconds. It was not easy building all the way down here. Now I did all this in survival. And then I got bored and I'm like, you know what? Nah, I want to go in creative. So I created a copy of my world. And I turned this into the Empire of Azure. Yeah, I hollowed this entire place out. Pretty much. It goes all the way down. But it's easy to get lost in this place. This isn't even the surface of what I built. This is below what I built. As you can see right up... Oh, that's right. I got traversed by water. Much more efficient that way. What did I build over here? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. 
I guess I just want to make oh, make this place a little more visually pleasing since it's all made of deep slate cobblestone. But anyway, we go up here a little ways, jump over here, and here we are. And there's the villager traveler. But yeah, this is my little uh, cave. Very, very expansive. But anyway, let's go back to up to the surface to where... Wait, what's this? I got windows? I didn't know I had windows. I mean, I can't use them. But I got windows. Believe it or not, but even in survival mode, there's a way you can traverse this water without dying. I figured it out. It's kind of difficult, especially if you can't, like, uh, get it to work properly. Alright, so over here, on this side... I plan on, uh, expanding over here. I'll have to destroy a few trees just to expand. Plan on adding like a lat, not a ladder, but some stairs up here to expand to the city up here. Uh, there should be a village nearby, if I'm correct. But yeah, all this open area right here is going to be the uh, a big part of the empire. But anyway, future aside, let's go over what I've already built. Okay, so Alchemist's Hut is right there. Um, I'm not really sure what this... Oh, Axolot... Uh, Ocelot Hut. Uh, I've noticed that Ocelots like to crawl in holes in caves. So I built that there. Because I have Ocelots all around. Uh, this, these are just villager houses. Nothing too impressive. We'll just go and look at them. And after all this, I'll get a good aerial view. Okay, on this side, more villager houses and huts. This is the... I'm gonna say gathering area. Where we hold major meetings. If all else fails, I'll just turn it into a bridge. But yeah... More villager houses. Beautiful little floral area. See, all slides are everywhere. And no, I'm not spawning them in. They just automatically spawned. I, I don't know how. I'm not even near a jungle. You know what, instead of up here showing you, like, the grandest structures, let's go down. And look at the more... I guess miniature scul uh, sculptures, structures. I will admit I did build a few towers in the city. As you can see here, I try to make everything uniform as possible. But, with a city like this, and most cities, they can't be completely uniform. There are going to be flaws and perfections everywhere you go, so... <clears throat> it might get kind of chaotic when I'm trying to show you all this. Um... Yeah. Well, this is one of those big houses, big, big, big towers. This is a study. Or uh, a college. Academy, if you will. Another strange house. A house. 
Now, I did build some interesting structures around here. I'll show them to you in a minute. Uh, farm, mini farm. This right here, it, <laughs> the oddball, out of all the houses I built, I built the green top so I know exactly where the uh, armor is at at all times. This is an old laboratory, abandoned, but still viable. Axolotls, glow fruit, glow berries, I don't know what they're called. Don't even think about it. I could have sworn we had an area higher above, but I guess not. Let me do a little floating and see where I'm at. Okay, so those are the buildings that were up here. City entrance. Let's go down one more. Right here. These are active laboratories. This is the study of the nether. I mean, the end. What is wrong with me? The end. I've already defeated the inner dragon that's within. Open rooms for research. Axolotls. Research purposes. There's going to be more to this place. It's not going to be a small little lab. Now I'm going to expand upon it. I'm just going to casually pop out like that. Yeah, there's not much to it right now. Um, let's go down to the city bottom. Or the heart of the city. It took me a while to figure this out, but I got a little inspiration from whenever I was visiting a place that's got flowers like this. It was a park. Can't remember the name of it. But it was absolutely beautiful. I'm like, I want to implement that into my city. My empire. This is where things get kind of clustered. But then again, you have to know, with cities or districts, there's the slums, the middle class, and then the upper class. The upper class live in larger houses, more spread apart. While the lower class uh, live in areas more clustered. These down here being the slums. This over here being the middle class. The slums. Not apartments, the slums because there's like nothing there almost hotel or motel like more slums then you get your middle class over here I actually love what I did with the city because like before the city was called uh, the city of Azure I guess but I built I don't built this instead the white gold tower and this right here being the temple of the sun the people of this empire worship the sun here this is the more grand structure that I was talking about that I didn't want to show off just yet alright here's a good aerial view of the city since I'm kinda getting lost in my own city over here Yes, I'm saying city, because this right here is the city. As a whole, as a whole, it's an empire. But in a small area, it's a city. This is where my house begins. I got a nice little cascading waterfall. Ocelots that keep spawning here for some reason. 
Again, Iron Golem Guard. Like most of my structures, I traverse by water. Naturally. We go up. Up, 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 up. And here's this room. Stunning. I get a beautiful view of the Temple of the Sun. Go up a little bit further. Here's another beautiful room. I haven't really decided what I'm going to use these rooms for yet. But I know I'm going to use this one for. Oh. Um. What is this? <gasps> oh. Okay. Yeah, that's to stop people from getting in. And I got a beautiful view of the city and snow. My windows are made of ice. I like it. So. I wonder how I would do this. Would I do it like this? Oh, yep, yeah, I guess I would. All right, let's go back down, and we're going to take a look at the Temple of the Sun. <laughs> this video might be longer than I expected. I'm not going to cut anything out. Just because... I want to show off every aspect of this empire. All right, here's the Temple of the Sun. A beautiful little sun at the top. Now, if you know me, you know I love my towers. Once again, you traverse by water. And this is also where you spawn at. So, here's one room. You can already see right here. Beautiful, beautiful room. Then we go up further. And now we're inside the sun. That's where you basically spawn at. Then you just kind of traverse down. Hopefully you don't stop right here. If you did, you know to go down. Be careful not to go far, too far down, because it'll lead you down here. An area in which I'm going to show you. It goes further and further and further down. further and further and there's a phrase called just keep swimming I wouldn't do that I would swim right back up because this place is kind of hellish I meant to make it like that it's got another portal and everything and yeah another portal all right we're going back up because I don't like it down here this is if you go down too far Now, let's go right in here. Other side, other side. Okay, so this right here, there's a little path right over here. Okay, maybe it's not there. Strange. I could have sworn it was, though. Because it went straight across. Unless. Nope, it went right through here. This is where the first of the villagers came from. And this is where I'm going to expand the city to the Empire. This is the first Temple of the Sun. Small, but gets a lot of use. I forgot what I've built here.
Oops. Yep, here's the Temple of the Sun. I still have a clergy. We're not gonna go all the way up, because there's nothing up there. But yep, this is where the first of the uh, people came from. From the cold, harsh lands. Uh, this is right here is going to be where a few more houses are going to go. I've been clearing off plots. I built a bridge right there. I'm going to expand the city up there. Keep on going down, 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 and expand down there. This whole area over here is where I'm going to expand to. And this right here. This is where the ladder came in. The stairs. A beautiful little terrarium. This is right outside my castle or tower. Okay, and what you saw earlier, that is right here. This monitors the activity of monsters that will spawn here. Mobs, etc, etc. This is the entrance, which I have blocked off for a very good reason. So there's like only one way to access it now, I think, is up there. Yeah, there's like only one way to access it. This is if you want to look at mobs. And just pray to God Endermen don't come over and uh, teleport right to you. But yep, that is my beautiful empire. I hope you enjoyed the video. And that is all we have time for. So thank you for tuning in. And until next time, ciao. To wish that they would